It's currently 12.07 at night. And instead of going to sleep, I'm going to watch Jug Face. Jug Face. I've heard of this movie, don't know much about it. Here's a convenient summary. Jug Face tells the story of a pregnant teen trying to escape a backwoods community when she discovers that she may be sacrificed to a creature in a pit. Okay, so there's this pit, a big hole in the ground with a bunch of muddy water at the bottom. And if you bathe in the waters of the pit, you are cured of whatever ails you. Sounds like a good deal, right? Well, of course it is. So there's a community that lives around this pit that worship the pit. And whenever they get sick or, you know, stub a toe. They go bathe in the waters of the pit, and I guess they're fine. We never actually see this in the movie, but that's what they say, so okay, I'll go with it. In exchange for the healing waters of the pit, they occasionally have to sacrifice one of their own to the pit. How do they know who to sacrifice? Do they hold a lottery? No. The pit apparently communicates through dreams or visions to the local potter who should be the next victim or sacrifice. And he makes a clay jug in the image of that person's face. A jug face, one might call it. Hence the title of the movie. So... Every once in a while, he makes a jug face, and whoever's face is on the jug gets their throat slit, and they bleed out into the pit, and the pit is satisfied, and they get to keep using its healing waters. Now, uh, our heroine of the movie uh, finds out that uh, her face is on the next jug. Well, that won't do, so she steals the jug and buries it somewhere in the woods. And bad things happen because the pit doesn't take kindly to not getting its num-nums. Saying any more would really spoil the movie, and it's worth watching. It's unique, it's interesting, it suffers from really low budget, but it, it works. Um... Two things that really bothered me about the movie. One, very petty. The jug faces themselves look absolutely nothing like the people they're supposed to look like. She looks at her jug face and she's like... I'm like, what? Who is it? And it's supposed to be her. I'm like, oh, it's you. Really? It looks nothing like you. And you see another jug face later in the film and it doesn't look like the guy at all, even remotely. There are also little ghost children running around. Uh, I think they're important to the plot. I think they might be explaining more of the mechanics surrounding the pit, but I can't understand a damn thing the little ghost boy is saying. So I have no idea. Couldn't understand him. Honestly, could not understand the dialogue. Uh, it's kind of like in Batman Begins. Uh, Batman's hard enough to understand as it is, but uh, the Scarecrow's fear toxin, he's like, hey, let me show you my mask. And he squirts the guy with fear toxin, and the camera goes along like that, and he's like, and you're like, what? Sorry, huh? You know, Batman uh, confronts people who are inundated with the fear talks, and he's like, and you're, no idea what you're saying, man. So, that's a problem. Um, I'm going to spoil the movie right now. So, if you want to watch it, go watch it. I'm going to spoil it because I find this kind of interesting, okay? Go away. Shoot. Alright, spoilers. 
Here's the movie. Girl finds her jug face. Doesn't want to die, so she buries the jug face. The pit gets pissed and starts killing everybody else. You don't actually see a monster come out of it. You see the point of view thing going... And people go... Ah! And red paint is flying all over the place. And then it, you see guts on the ground. Um, and it keeps killing people. Until she's like, wow, it's never going to stop. And so she gives herself to the pit. They slit her throat, and that's the end of the movie. That's it. There's really no moral, there's no achievement, there's no point, other than, I guess, don't piss off the pit. I don't know. Meh. Meh.